Welcome to the tutorial of Aussie Poly Pump. These are the components in the kit that you should find. Please note these pumps only fit a 1 inch key shaft. Place the volute rope in the back casing ensuring it is placed properly. Next ensure the bolts have the o-rings attached. Ensure you spray some silicon spray on the impeller and the back casing. This will simply ensure there is plenty of lubrication so the impeller can spin freely. Next place the counterface inside the impeller. Then ensure the mechanical seal is free of any foreign matter. Next ensure the mechanical seal is placed properly. The pump will simply leak if this is not placed flush. Next place the slinger onto the key shaft. Once this is done you are able to put the back casing on and bolt the back casing to the engine. The bolts will naturally need to be tightened as much as possible. Once the bolts are tightened properly you should fill the cavity with some silicon to avoid any movement of the bolts through further use. Next is to place the key inside the impeller using a little bit of the silicon. Again the purpose is to avoid any movement when the machine is running. When the impeller has been bolted into place it is an idea to turn the engine over to ensure the impeller is not rubbing on the back casing. This will avoid any problems later on. Next we fit the volute. Then the check valve which will sit easily. Then place the body o-ring. Then we put the front body in place and bolt with the 10 bolts provided. The final steps are to fit the drain plug and the filler plug from the bottom to the top accordingly. This resulting in another Aussie Pump quality product.